14 paychecks is what I got paid in the month of August from my long-term dividend portfolio. And you guys, you already know, we're going to go over every single one and a few other things. And you already know the drill. Let's get it. Ooh, big bag. You're not talking money. You can miss me with the chit-chat. I'm not with the rah-rah or the rip. What is it, guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Nikki here. And in today's video, I already told you what we're doing. But we're also going to be going over that spreadsheet. And then you know what spreadsheet I'm talking about. The one you all know and love to see where I was this time last year, to see what that bar chart looks like. It's just a good ass time. And the other thing I want to mention here, real quick, before I dive in it, I'm about to, you know the words. Dammy. I hate. That I just did that. Anyway, um, aside from that, I mentioned in the stocks I bought video a little nuggets of channel stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna just lay it out right here in case you missed that video, which I don't know why you would, because you should be watching that before you watch this. We're gonna pump the brakes because I thought long and hard. I talked to a professional, aka my therapist, and uh, I'm gonna keep the stocks I bought, the dividend paychecks, maybe a monthly portfolio update, and like one or two other videos on this channel in the month. And it's like a one video a week kind of situation, and I'm just not gonna do anything else here, okay? It's just gonna be dividend investing and that's what you're here for and that's what it should be so i'm gonna take my sorry little self to another channel that i'm gonna start and do all the other fluffy nutter butter stuff that i want to do over there because you guys don't care because you guys are guys and i think that's the biggest thing here you were the men in my life and uh no seriously like i think it's like over 80 percent of you maybe even over 90 percent, maybe close to 100 are dudes and you guys don't give a damn really about that other stuff that i want to do and i respect y'all too much to do that to you so i am going to start a new channel i'll let you know what it is if you are interested once i get it all set up but for now this is going to be investing and investing alone so give the channel a thumbs up if you're excited about that okay because i'm kind of into it you know i was real i was real messed up in my head up here trying to figure out what should i do what should I? my therapist like why don't you just do this and i'm like this is why i pay you so much a session girl because you come out here with a voice of reason and the voice of reason right now is telling me i need to get into these paychecks because we have 14 to go over and uh it's a pretty good month i'm not gonna lie so let's dive right into the first one and one other thing really quick um when i show you these little screenshots from my app uh, of e-trade like i don't know why but it continues to say like i'm getting paid on quantity of zero which is just not right because if I had zero I wouldn't be getting coin so I don't know why it's saying that but I will tell you how many shares that I have of those stocks that got me paid that dividend if that makes sense okay all right cool great let's move on to the uh, first paycheck here and that's going to be Verizon coming through paying me $21.53 on 36 shares and then after that AT&T came through and they paid me $12.49 on 49 shares after that CVS came through, paid me a whopping $4.24 on seven shares. Then one that I've kind of forgot about, and I need to kind of get back into that because a monthly payer is going to be JEPI came through and paid me $9.58 on 33 shares. Now this is one that really fluctuates a lot month to month. Like I think last month or the month before it was like $13 or $11. So now it's at $9. So this one's very inconsistent, which we're going to kind of see how that plays out when I get into the spreadsheet you know what I mean but uh it is what it is it's monthly income and I'm gonna take it every time then one of the loves of my life that's just way too expensive for me to even think about investing into heavily is going to be Lowe's they came in they paid me three dollars and thirty cents on three shares then another one that uh is astronomically expensive to me at this point in this economy is going to be American Express they came in and paid me three dollars and sixty cents on six shares step it up Amex okay step it up then a company I have an added two cents march of 2020 is gonna be oke and they came in and they paid me 19 dollars and 10 cents on 20 shares i think this is one that i'm so green in overall that like it kind of pains me to think about adding at those high prices so i just add two positions that i'm losing it which honestly kind of makes sense which is a tough way to think about this but i feel like that's the winning recipe <laughs> to be determined though check back with me in like 40 years then i'm about to tell you of a stock okay that if you do do not pick up on a regular basis. I'm gonna smack the hell out of you. It's gonna be Abvi. Abvi came through. Listen to this. Thirty-two dollars and fifty-six cents on twenty-two shares. Now I ain't a mathematician, but that's over a dollar a share, and that's damn good. And they have a very good history. I'm, I'm telling you, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not about to preach about Abvi right now. Do yourself a favor. Pick it up in September. Pick up one share, just one, at least. But it's obviously not financial advice. Okay, do what you want. <laughs> okay, I'm just. 
I'm just passionate because I see that number. I'm like, damn. Then bringing me back down to reality here is Stag Industrial paying me $3.19 on 26 shares. But that is a monthly payer. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of leeway there, but that's still only like $9.50 or a little less uh, every quarter. So like, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Then it gets even worse. <laughs> oh, real TK3 paid me $2.04 on eight shares. And we're just gonna move on because I have nothing else to say about that. Apple gave me $3.84 on six. 16 shares then one that i literally i'm just a loser honestly in this whole situation for this one uh stock that i bought and i honestly was with it i was feeling it but it just turned out to be a dud and i've lost like 80 percent of my investment and the dividend literally crashed down to basically nothing but i only have like 300 invested in it in the first place so i'm just like i'm letting it sit there i don't know like whatever i don't care but that's gonna be home street paid me a whopping dollar a freaking george washington and then we got a little pep in our step here because i almost said subway and i really don't know why i said that but it's Starbucks, Subway, Starbucks, SB, SB, Sub, Starb, same thing. But it, what is it? It's Starbucks. Damn. Starbucks paid me $10.60 on 20 shares. And the pumpkin's back. So I expect good things this fall for that stock. <laughs> and then to wrap up the month, I had Invitation Homes come through and pay me a modest $4.94 on 19 shares. So with that fun stuff out of the way, we're going to go ahead and dive into the spreadsheet now, which is actually just better uh, for a multitude of reasons. So um, without, I almost said it and I hate it. You guys already know what I was about to say and I hate it. But let's jump right into the spreadsheet. Okay, let's see what, let's see what damage has been done. All right, you guys, here is the spreadsheet. Y'all love it. Y'all know it. Y'all trust it. Y'all still ask me where I get it. And uh, it's Andre Jik. I don't even care. And I hate the fact that I pay that trucker $8 a damn month. But you know what? It's worth it. Okay. It's worth it for me to be able to just see this stuff. Okay. So uh, that's where I get it. <laughs> With that being said, and uh, before I get him any more income, let me go ahead and show you what I got for the year. So if we're looking at this uh, payout last year, actually, you know what? No, let's go to the last time, 136.25. But I have told myself we need to be looking year over year because that's really the important part here. Not three months. It's not long term enough. So we're going to look at the last time they paid me, which was 106.60. Okay. So as long as we're over that, I feel like we're winning. We're on the right track. And I can tell you and report that we are over that. And I went ahead and I pulled in $132.01. Now, hold on. You already know. I'm going to hit the enter button before I do. Get your eyes down there at the bar graph, okay? Down here. I want to see it. All right, ready? Here we go. Okay, so here's me. Here's what I feel. Here's my initial, you know, uh, reaction to that. Underwhelming. I'm severely underwhelmed. Uh, but I think I'm underwhelmed because, like, these are literally, if you were to ask me if these were a straight line across, I would say yes, even though I know this is obviously a few dollars more. But this is just like, eh. I mean, I would have loved to see more of a growth, even though it was only three months ago. I would have loved to see it. But also, this yellow, the distance here is a lot less than this and this. Uh, but two things I feel like uh you know contributed to that so the first thing is gonna be home street okay home street coming in with a dollar is not gonna help me do nothing okay and i think maybe in may it was also a dollar i can't honestly remember i think it was <laughs> it's honestly probably been a dollar for like maybe the whole year at this point uh so that's a factor but also the other thing that i mentioned earlier in the video jepi was paying you know 11 12 13 bucks a month and this month was nine so that's gonna put me at four dollars which if we add four to 132 we're at 136 which basically is even from the last time they paid me still isn't great but at least it's not less but with the initial visceral is that how they say visceral reaction of being a little bit disappointed uh i mean it's more than 106 dollars so that's really all i can ask for and as long as september is more than 70 dollars and 72 cents i'm a winner and no one can tell me any different so you guys i want to know what you guys got paid out in the month of august let me know down in the comments below also let me know in the comments if you want to see more of a monthly portfolio kind of update where i show you all the whole things like on a monthly basis instead of waiting for these kind of of like milestones to hit like i wasn't gonna do the next one until i hit like 40k or maybe even 50k and by the looks of this economy my guys i might be in my 40s by the time that shit happens <laughs> so please do let me know and also please let me know down below if you're excited that i'm gonna just continue dividend investing on this channel because i've actually like it makes it just makes sense and it's not that hard to do one video a week on here in that regard so that's what i'm gonna do i think it's so funny because i'm like oh yeah i crossed 100 this month or i'm almost at 150 this month and then some of you're all like i made 687 dollars I made two thousand eight hundred sixty-six dollars, and I'm like, y'all really inspire me. Y'all really keep me going. Someday I'm gonna say that. Maybe when I'm sixty-five, but it will be someday. If you guys missed the stocks I bought, which I don't know why you would, because you should watch that before this one. But go ahead and watch this video right here. I'll see you over there. And uh, you guys, I absolutely love you. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.